bit of an about face from President Trump. The commander in chief insisting he does trust American intelligence agencies when they say Russia meddled in the 2016 election. I just wanted to clear up. Uh, I have the strongest respect for our intelligence agencies. It's a departure from what he said just one day ago while standing alongside the Russian president. The commander in chief stunned many in Washington, appearing to side with the Russian president over his own intelligence agencies on the issue of election interference. We're back with our A-plus panel. So Bob, Allison, uh, president's on an international stage meeting with Putin yesterday and doesn't get great remarks, but the Democrats completely overplay their hand. I'm watching this and thinking to myself, you know, calls for treason, this is over the top and it's probably gonna backfire on them. You know, there's an old saying, when your opponent is messing up, allow them to keep going. <laughs> Did Democrats step on their own message here? Bob, what do you think? This is hard to say, Bill, okay? Maybe some of the words that were being chosen, like words like treason, may be a little over the top. What is concerning and where I think the Democrats and Republicans, I would flip this question around, where are the Republicans? As a former law enforcement officer, I know what gathering intelligence means. I know what strategic alliances with my allies are. And what occurred there was essentially, it, not essentially, it was a direct hit on our intel agencies, a direct hit on our partners around the world in favor of Mr. Putin. There is bipartisan criticism of the president, but did Democrats kind of overplay this and rather than let that take shape? The Democrats have overplayed their hand because the same thing will happen to voters that happens every time a Democrat says impeachment. They see, they see the president on international stage just being himself, these things that he voted for, this persona that he is bringing on the international stage. In and of itself, it's not a problem for a president to sit down with an adversary. President Obama did this with the Iranians before the Iran deal. Like, but what's a, what the problem is and what, where the president really stepped in it is buddying up to Putin yesterday and putting daylight between himself and our intelligence community. When he's on an international stage, the stakes are higher and he has to stand with the FBI, the CIA, and others that were part of this yeah, investigation. Yeah, but here's the thing. And not be Allison. focused on this witch hunt. He can't get out of his own personal problem yeah. here and the witch hunt, and that's impacting how he's treating our, our adversaries overseas. It's Look, a problem. You have to be deaf, dumb, and blind. <laughs> if you have not seen, not you, personally, <laughs> Allison, not you. Thanks if for clearing If one up. has not seen a pattern for over two years of adulation and genuflecting to a man and an economy that's a 30th of the size of the United States. He put him on an equal playing field with the United States, number one, and dismantled our intelligence agencies and threw law enforcement under the bus. And this has been going on for two years. I have a funny feeling we're gonna be back talking about this issue again. So thank you guys very much. <laughs>